What are you going to have in the Arvo? Uh, in the Arvo? Um, what am I going to have? Oh, I'll have another strip on the barbie. <laughs> no one says that. No Australian says that. What would you bro. make, bro? That's a very Australian way of saying <laughs> We're from Australia! Billionaire. Hi Billions, this is Korean Billy and today I am joined by a very special Aussie guest and this is Walter. G'day guys, my name is Walter, all the way from Brisbane, Australia. Today in this video, we are going to be kind of like watching a very interesting video where there is Stray Kids. There are some Stray Kids members from Australia, some members speaking very interesting Aussie accents. And there's a very interesting video, so we're going to watch that and kind of react to them and talk about their Aussie accent and generally talk about Australian accent. Sure, I'm ready. Yeah, so let's watch the video. G'day fellas, my name is Barry Chan <laughs> and I'm Felix <laughs> and we're from Australia! Wow. <laughs> yeah, really Aussie. Oh, ik, ik. We forgot the butter. They say butter, right? Yeah, In yeah, Australia yeah, we yeah. say butter, yeah, not yeah, butter. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Too much butter! <laughs> I have a question. Does when he speaks Korean, does he sound very Korean, or do you think he there's a slight accent? When he speaks in Korean, he's just Korean. Ah, okay. Yeah, because I think he's spent lots of time with Korean parents, so ah. I think he's almost just bilingual, I guess. I guess like yeah. it's hard for certain bilingual speakers to master both languages, so yeah. sometimes. Like he speaks uh, with a really strong Australian accent. Mm. So sometimes if you speak really well in one language, you might have a little trouble with the other if yeah. you're bilingual. Yeah. So I'm just curious about his Korean, but mm. he sounds very much like a Korean Korean. Yeah. Yeah. I think he sounds very natural in both languages, okay. which is very... Talented. Um, yeah. Where's the sausage? Oh, there's a sausage. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Even though they're not really saying a lot, I can definitely tell they're from Australia. Just by the sound of their accent. Yeah. yeah. Me too. <laughs> they're beautiful. Oh, look at that. Oh, there you have it. Oh, absolutely fantastic. Australians do this thing as well. It's like, oh, uh, like they make that oh sound uh, to like show like excitement. Mm. Like, oh, that's awesome. Oh. <laughs> the stomach. <laughs> The stomach that takes out all the dump. It's really interesting that like Felix is mm. this really slim, young looking guy, but yeah. he has such a deep accent like myself. Yeah. Like when I look at him, I kind of expect him to, you know, have this lighter mm. sound to his- Like younger voice. Younger right? voice, yeah. but like I'm a lot older than he is and I feel like we're <laughs> on the same level of deepness. Yeah, 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 so, that's true. Yeah, he's, I'm very surprised, but he is a singer, rapper, so he should be able to change his voice yeah. a lot. I mean, his voice itself is really, I mean, good to hear. Of course, good to yeah. listen to, very nice voice. Because Australian voices are nice to listen to. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, Felix! Come here, bro! What would you what make, bro? What'd you bro? make, bro? <laughs> oh, me come. Oi. That's a very Australian way of... Yeah, what you make, bro? What you make, bro? Take it one. What do you think, Mundari? Mundari, my age is off. How about Felix's Korean accent? His Korean's really good. Oh, really? Yeah. <sighs> Young people are so smart these days. Yeah. <laughs> Young, there are so many bilingual young people. Oh. Yeah. Oh, g'day, mate. How are you going? I'm good, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. Um, <laughs> what's that for breakfast? What's that for brekkie? Brekkie? Oh, no, I had a shrimp on a barbie. Oh, you had, you had a shrimp oh, on a barbie? Oh, barbie. Yeah, for brekkie. <laughs> what are you going to have in the Arvo? Uh, in the Arvo? Um, what am I going to have? Oh, I'll have another shrimp on the barbie. <laughs> no one says that. No Australian says that. We say that to make fun of our own... Shrimp on the barbie. No, that is like the number one thing that we don't say. It's, it's a stereotype of Australia. We do do not say. But what if you actually had shrimp? We say prawns. Your... Ah, that's We say nice. prawns. Yeah. So, and we don't put them on the barbie. We, we eat them like, well, I guess you can put them on the barbie. Whenever uh, people want to make fun of Australians, yeah. that's the line they go to. It's like, yeah. ah, throw another shrimp on the barbie. <laughs> we don't say that because yeah. it was made famous by a tourism ad a long time ago. By Australia? By an Australian guy. Mm. But it was supposed to appeal to American fans. Mm. And Americans don't say prawns, they say shrimp. We we're trying to appeal to like America. Come to Australia, we'll throw another shrimp on the barbie, just so they understood. But then it kind of stuck with Australia as a stereotype. <laughs> 
But isn't it true that Australians love having prawns and barbies together? We do, we do. Yeah. Um, but but no. we don't say shrimp. <laughs> yeah. But in this case, it's like Australians are making fun of themselves. For right? sure, so yeah. That's acceptable, right? Exactly. I'll have another shrimp on the barbie. <laughs> oh. I think these guys are Australian, yeah. so they can they can make fun of themselves. Yeah. Felix? Oh, get out. And the other members have no idea yeah, what they're no saying. Idea what the hell is going on? I don't know if they actually usually speak like that. In this the case, it's more like a meme, so they kind of like exaggerate their Australian accent, I guess. Good point. When they're probably speaking to their, you know, mm. other friends, not mm. really in front of the camera, they probably might speak a little bit more like me, I think. More like casually. More casually, yeah. right? All Australians do this as well. If they're trying to show off their Australian accent on purpose, they'll yeah. kind of like, you don't want to meme, mate? Like, <laughs> Oh, like, g'day, how you doing, mate? Oh like, my oh, God. how's it going? G'day, fellas. And we're from <laughs> Australia! We kind of turn it up mm. a little bit just to take the piss out of ourselves, mm. but also, like, be fun at the same time. Mm. So I think he would have more of, like, a neutral Australian yeah. accent, kind of like how I'm speaking at the moment. Then can you definitely tell their accent is like genuinely Australian accent. Though. Definitely. It's it's really hard to imitate an Australian accent. Mm. But like I said, I think the biggest thing that surprises me is how deep their voices are yeah. for such young, slender looking guy. The stomach. Stomach that takes out all the dump. So I don't know if I'm just stereotyping young, <laughs> slender looking yeah. guys, but you can definitely tell they grew up in an Australian setting. Interesting thing is like compared to speaking in Korean, mm. when you speak in Australian or just English, mm. your voice goes a bit deeper, I oh, guess. Yeah. I think as well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for me as well, when I speak in Korean, mm. I say like, 안녕하세요, and it, the pitch kind of, kind of like goes higher. Right. But when I speak in English, it goes down. So yeah, that's yeah. a bit different. So yeah. even like Felix, when he speaks in Korean, he gets a bit younger <laughs> with he his voice. He does sound younger, yeah, right? Yeah, cuter even. Softer, I would yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. like, he can really turn up that ochre accent when yeah. he wants to. And one thing I've also noticed what, while watching this video was, when they speak in Australian, an accent, they speak really fast. Watch out for breakfast. Watch out for Brecky. Brecky. Oh, no, I don't trip on a Barbie. Is it general that Australians speak in really fast way? Right. So one thing I do notice is that we do speak incredibly fast. So even like Felix and Pang Chan spoke really fast. Right. in that video. I really wonder if the other members also start to absorb their Australian accent though. That must yeah. be really interesting. You know, when we heard Jenny and Rosé talk, they probably got a bit of accent off mm, each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it could be very possible that if you're surrounded by just Australians, you might pick up like the accent. So maybe the other members don't say water, yeah. they say water. Water, water, water. <laughs> so, butter. Exactly, so <laughs> it could be. So we've been watching the Aussie line members of Stray Kids, Felix and Pang Chan, and we were really glad to hear some Australian accent yes. and got some Aussie vibe from the video from them. It's kind of like a comfort food for you. Yeah, yeah, I miss <laughs> Australia, so. Yeah. It would be really nice if you can actually meet Felix and Pang Chan. Yeah, like yeah, guys, yeah. listen, hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> we, can, we can hang out, we can talk about Barbies and, and, yeah, shrimp and shrimp. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys also enjoyed watching this video together. Yep. And you've got your own channel, right? Yep. I run Cozy TV, which is about people who want to learn Australian culture, Australian language, and everything Australian. So if you want to watch more videos from Walter, and if you want to feel any Aussie vibes, visit Cozy TV YouTube channel as well. And if you like this video, don't forget to press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. And don't forget to leave a comment and what you guys think of Aussie line members as well. Mm -hmm. So I think that's it for today. And thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.